Hey y'all, we're your Buttons Babes and we're back at you with another episode. I'm Alyssa Vasquez. And I'm Alyssa Brayboy. And uh, we are going to jump in with our push to start. So we're going to start with something that pushed our buttons this week, whether it was good, bad, indifferent, whatever. So I'm gonna start, um, y'all. So this just happened. I was super <laughs> jazzed because we we're trying to like real time. Yes, real time. Try to put on clothes, figure shit out. These pants. Um, I took the tag off today. Um, it's a big move. It is a big move. I haven't. I got them six years ago, and um, when I bought them at this dope little thrift store, like they fit, and then over time they didn't fit. And six then, years is a long time. It is. And then today, I was like, you know what? Let me let let, let me see, because I, I kid you not, like about a month and a half, two months ago, they didn't fit, and I'm about to do something that's probably gonna piss. Fill our um, cinematographer off, but I'm standing up um, because I, I was like, I want to see. I like just what they look. Good. They, they they look, look good. so good. They look good. I it's hard to pull white pants off. Yo, in my opinion, I so literally squealed. I was like, oh my god! Lisa comes running. I thought into something the was wrong. I was like, oh fuck, uh, this is uh, we have a no bitch. Things I are gonna change. The day's gonna change. <laughs> it's like like that that skinny jeans feeling, like you save them just in case, but. Not only were these like my skinny pants, but I've never worn them. I got to take the tag off because I was this close from throwing them away. But like, you, they, you need to let it go. You need to let it this go. Is, this is why I struggle sometimes with getting rid of things in the closet because yes, one day it might fit you and you can take the tag off. Right, and, and you wear feeling. it. And so um, it just, um, it made me very happy this morning. Um, so that's my push to start. I feel it myself. My push to start is also kind of a feel goodsy. It's not as like personally exciting, but um, there's been a couple just like Good Samaritan people like in public transportation lately. I feel like I always complain about like how awful it has been or is or whatever. Because it is. <sighs> yes, but um, I was taking a new line when we were going to a show and I was like really obviously frazzled at that point because I was like trying not to be late. I'm always fucking late. Okay, so I was like, I'm trying not to be late. Was this Alvin Ailey? Yes. Y'all, we I saw was also Alvin like Ailey. on my P word and like literally fucking breathing was making me cry that day. So like a bitch was having a real bad moment trying to get to the fucking show. And this kind senora, I was like, is this the 16? She was like, see me, huh? Like, it's okay, five more minutes. And I was like, okay, thank you. And then I just sat my ass down and it showed up and she she guided me gracefully. It was great. Oh my God. Um, and then there was also one morning going in, there was a uh, incident where just there was there was fighting. There was some intense fighting happening and it was like not the usual kind of fighting that I'm like, yeah, whatever, you know, turn your volume up. It was like, there was weapons and Yo, like- Yo, what a, is going a, on? A kind gentleman stood up and was like kind of the voice of reason and was like, okay, if you're gonna do this, get off the train. There's kids here, there's people trying to get to work. It was like 7.43 on the blue line and I was I was not, no one, none of us were prepared for that. Um, it's and he was really great, and he uh, paused the interaction, and people got off and did what they did need to do, I guess, I mean, for them. And the rest of us were able to get on our way. Right? So that was super great. That is great. I mean, I don't remember hearing about it in the news, but, like, it's it's in the air lately in terms of, like, these things that are going on with public transportation and shootings on streets. And anyway. Yeah, there's a – it's – Thank you, Good Samaritan. Yeah. Because Thank you, sir. we didn't need that. There's too much of that in the world right now. Um, that is wild. Anyway, y'all should um, do all of the things like comment and subscribe, but also drop down your um, your push to start. Yeah, what's tell some us. things? Good what's, things, bad things, ugly things. What pushed your buttons this week? And with that, we are going to jump into our button of the week, which is. Yes. Okay. So. On the subject of me having my P word, <laughs> this week we're going to talk about period stress. Um, we're going to push that period we, button. Yeah, oh, man. so okay. uh, like anyone who bleeds, you get it. Um, anyone who doesn't bleed, well, maybe you'll learn something. Yo, I hope so. Because, okay, I feel like for me this goes in so many different ways because I used to get so 
irritated, like hearing those comments of like, oh, she's on her period or like you're like a little extra. It emotional. is irritating. Yes. But and then as I got older, I'm like, oh, but I get it. Like it. I still get irritated. Don't don't come at me. Don't come at women like, no, like that like, with that. It's not OK because it, it's going to make it worse. You're an asshole. Um, but I am learning and I am like, feeling and more in tune with my body when I know like it's around the corner. Like I, I can just, I can feel it in every sense. I'm a little extra weepy, like no matter, and I'm, I cry all of the time. But when those hormones, that fucking, that dot is around the corner, I'm like, shit, like I know I, it, Anyway, long story short, yes. Like there is a wave that comes, sometimes knocks me out. And something that I unfor unfortunately learned, um, was that last weekend? I think it was last weekend. Also, for me, and I'm curious other bleeders out in the world, if you're, <laughs> what? I, I know, I'm into, I'm into it, I'm into it. I am curious <laughs> if your drinking capabilities shift. I mean, uh, yes, uh, this is me. I am her. I thought it was everybody, yeah, but like, okay, bleeders. Yeah. No. This is not you. Tell so us. I am shooketh by this because I didn't think it was a thing, but now when I think about it logically, it makes sense. You are losing blood. Also, you shouldn't fast when you're on your period. I didn't know that. Um, I mean, I didn't know that. Because you're losing a lot of like, nutrients Science. and you're bleeding. Anyway, also, apparently, you better watch yourself or make sure you eat or slow down your drinking intake when you are about to be or on your period because usually a bitch can handle three drinks. Um, last weekend, I could not. And it was a nightmare. that I turned into... I don't know if I was a demon. A I don't gremlin. A, a gremlin. Gremlin is usually what I... like. That's my always... like. It was reference point. <laughs> it was terrible. And to the point where I don't remember anything. And I rarely, I mean, this year is probably a little different. Anyway, I rarely get blackout drunk. And I got blackout drunk. And I'm like, the fuck is happening? And then I learned from Alyssa, like, that's a thing. She's like, oh, well, you were on your period and you didn't. I'm like, what? I always, if I drink on my, I have to make sure that I'm like single drinking it or like, hardcore eating because uh, I mean I guess I also don't drink as much as I used to drink but like I yeah use, I, I tend it's a pattern that I have noticed in in chunks of my past that yes I can be a little more see that gremlin like when drinking that pisses me off I'm like of anything year. else is there anything else that we bro I'm sure there is that's a thing like yeah I feel like every week I learned something more that I'm like, I fucking hate this body, this reason of like this thing from the internet. Uh, like, yeah. But I do have to say something that does, that I've noticed, but also shout out to um, Principle of Pleasure, Principles of Pleasure on Netflix. It's a little documentary oh, yes. series like, where they I've broke down like, hormones and actually like right before your period as um for the bleeders out there there is a sense of just being more in tune and on it and like there's just this um and so I like to think of it as a superpower even as much as I hate it sometimes don't look at me like that I'm like you know what no you're right like right before yes I'm a little extra weepy but I'm more in tune with my body I'm more in tune with other people the things that I have to do like there's this surge of like yo I'm a boss bitch and I got it even though like I I got it <laughs> like what don't look at me let me handle my business yeah. okay so we have a TikTok uh example of this okay. kind of path is okay so I came across this TikTok one day while I was TikToking as one does um but she basically was like you have to learn how to utilize this time and it's oh. not super woo woo because you know that I'm not super I don't I don't woo with everyone I woo um oh. th the balance <laughs> but like certain there's like I 
watch it, take your notes, because I watched it and was like, I admire this, but I don't think I'm ready for this. Like the in tuneness. Um, Wheezy, shout out to Horrible Decisions. Wheezy at many points in through their collection mm. of episodes has talked about like how how in tune she is with herself and her cycle and like she, like obvi- like she didn't I think for a, a point didn't have an app to track it and now I know you can track it with apps mm-hmm. and I mean I do like sometimes track but like the things that I'm like how many fucking times do I have zits every fucking time cool like that's the kind of data that I'm looking for like am I always constipated yes <laughs> do I am I always this fucking angry no actually that's something that okay. I've learned is I'm not always this, the same level of anger, but like she's like in in, and I'm like I'm I'm just not there yet, mm-hmm. and I have like I just don't know enough about my body, or like I don't know, I'm just not ready to like. Oh, I'm chart obsessed. Shit. Like to a certain degree, like I I am a tracker. I have the period tracker on my phone. I want to get better about tracking. Like there's a little. You can check off if you're intimate that day, and like and, I mean, and so there's that. But then you like just. I notice, I'm like, oh, I have learned more about my body by tracking my cycle and knowing like, oh, I'm not going to be up for this. Like, and so I also can uh, schedule, plan accordingly, certain things, certain projects that we're working on. I'm like, absolutely fucking not. I am not going to be in the mind space like to handle like that project or and so I shifted a week out or and so that's that's really interesting I've never put the pieces together like that it just I kind of like oh no I know I know me and know everything that's going on inside of here and then sometimes I forget I'm like why the I'm like oh I feel like I it's all like I most of the time forget and I'm like suddenly like why am I crying because I saw a fucking tree fall down like what and then I'm like oh you dumb bitch <laughs> like right. I'm not I'm not a crier I hate fucking crying Plus, and I it's like feelings oh I will cry and then be mad that I'm crying and like and then eventually I'm like oh I know I'm crying but then I just cry fucking more because I'm like why is this happening to me <laughs> I love that and it's so funny was in yoga um, at White Heat Yoga, shout out. Um, yes, if you're in the area, you should definitely check it out. Yes, and I was flowing next to um, this amazing uh, woman. Her name was, is uh, Sarah. And so at one point, and I loved how open she was with sharing this with me. She like leaned over, she was like, it was so great practicing with you. Like, oh my goodness, thank you for that extra push. I don't know what's wrong with me. Like I'm over here and Jordan put us in this pose and I just started bawling. I was like, no, like it's okay, me too. I went in to have pigeon and I'm like, like it's okay, it's okay. Like, crying pigeon. yo, pigeon, like opening those hips, like things getting out and trauma and and she and I was like for me like I know my period's around the corner she's like oh my god yeah me too I'm like so it it's it's okay yeah it's okay to cry it's okay to like recognize and have these conversations with other people um I I have felt and ladies or and bleeders uh, bleeders let me know I've always felt and maybe this is a tangent but I've always Felt ashamed talking about my period, my dot, my feelings yeah, absolutely. with it. It's like, shh, no one needs to know. Like, it's my little Put secret. Put your diaper on and go hide in the corner. Right? Because literally, that's in parts of the world, they're literally shunning girls for however fucking long they're bleeding because, I mean, it's it's messy. It is messy. I don't know. I'm faking messy. It's fucking messy. It's a fucking pain in the ass. It's smell, like so many things are not great but like we can't help it that's, right that's the thing that's like frustrating is like nobody wants to talk about it but like it's not going away like it's not like we can't cure or can we <laughs> if we can fucking cure this shit please i mean you want a hysterectomy no 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 anyway moving on from that because i don't want to give us any ideas uh i've, but- I've been denied <laughs> i've been denied i mean i feel like it this conversation is being talked about more in terms of it feels much more okay like less like someone is gonna like at you in public if you say it than I think when we were growing up for sure oh yes and I like even 
even the silly little TikTok videos that I see. I think I saw one where like homegirl was on her period and her boyfriend's like sliding snacks underneath. I think those are so funny because it is like it is reality. <laughs> He's like sliding snacks under the door because she's like, no, leave me alone. I want to be by myself. And so he like slides in all of her favorite snacks and he slides in a note like, can I just can I just come cuddle with you? Like, I got all your stuff. Like, I'm like, Ugh. but even me, per uh, sometimes it, it depends. I mean, it can be that much of a, yes, I would like you to just be here to like, no, actually I changed my mind. I just I, want to be by myself. I like, just want to be angry. I want to cry. I want to watch my shows. I want to eat my snacks. I don't want to make you miserable with me. I think that's always what I'm like, you know, I, I can control my misery to an extent, like I don't necessarily need you or like want to drag you in is like how I feel when I'm like, I need to be alone. I'm like, this is my problem. Like, let me, let me deal with it. Do you feel like you have gotten to the point where like you communicate that or like dealing with that and letting other people know or finding a way, I mean, not saying I'm on my period or just be like, yo, like I'm, I'm in a mood. Like, I, just... I mean, I definitely feel like I'm moving more towards being able to communicate that when I'm like, yes, get, like, leave me the fuck alone without saying, like, leave me the fuck alone, not saying it in those terms. But I feel like now I'm usually not as inclined to be like, yeah, leave me alone. Interesting. As, like, in the past. Because as we sit here and we talk about it now, like, in my head, I'm like, it's nobody's business. You don't need to talk about it, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, but why? Like... I, I literally, like, in this moment, had that thought bubble of, why can't we say or talk about it? Anyway, that's just... <laughs> There's a cat. What? Yeah, I'm... There's a cat outside the window. I'm sorry. Don't edit. Our ADD asses. <laughs> Anywho, because I also lost my train of thought because um, okay, I was like... so actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I have communicated that pretty, pretty, I think pretty well um, at work. One of my coworkers. I love this statement at work. I'm like, yes, we gonna talk about this at work. <laughs> he he's really great to dish shit at you, but he can't take it. Mm. And sometimes he'll get me, and I'm like, not today, man. Not not today. Like, and I'm just like, yeah, lady problems. Like, I'm not in the mood. And he'll okay, and he'll leave me alone. <laughs> and it's great. And and it, it it is also a really great excuse. I'm not gonna lie. I have gotten out of things by saying like, um. I need to leave. I am having some lady issues. Um, and and that's like, I have definitely communicated. I usually probably best communicated at work when I'm like, yeah, this is not the time. This is not today. Like, I cannot do that today. We cannot have this conversation today. Oh my um, goodness. I have definitely done that. And I've, also one of my coworkers knows to keep chocolate on his desk. Bitch. So if I'm Who eating a lot of chocolate that week, then he's, then he's like, all right. So, uh, let me know if you need anything else. Well, damn, that sounds like a good work environment to me, but in the way. Um, <laughs> you know, there are pros and cons of everything. I feel like for me, it's like easier to talk about in relationships, whether it's friends or significant other. Um, and See, I think it's easier stranger danger. I don't know why. Like, I, I feel like people that I don't know well, I'm a lot more apt to be like, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a fucking period. Like, what do you, come at me. What else do you want to talk about? Like, versus like sometimes with people that I'm like close to, I don't know. I don't want to necessarily be like, I'm fucking like, shit's happening. What do you want from me? <laughs> do you think you would break down more if it's people that are like. I don't know. That is weird. Um, that is so funny to me. Like, it is so easy to be like, no, leave me alone. Don't touch me. I'm on my period. No, I don't want to have sex. I like, feel like it feels more like I'm trying to use it as an excuse when it's people I know versus like people I don't know. I'm like, I'm not lying. True. Okay. <laughs> no, because, yeah, no, I've used it to get out of things. I've used my period as an excuse. Sometimes it sucks to be a woman. Sometimes it's great. Um, but, but yes, I wanted to go in the, the direction of like period sex, but I feel like that's a whole that is a whole other, other so button. So we'll talk about that a different time because this was period stress. True. Oh damn. But I mean, period sex can be stressful. Yo. Um. The, I I will say like I am much less likely to be down to try new things. I think 
Because I'm self-conscious. See, like, see, I'm like, I, I just want to know, know what's gonna, how I look. I don't however. know what's going to happen. What does it look like? I know it's messy. Sometimes it's a little bit, sometimes a lot. I don't want to leave a clot. Like, I, they're just, for me, sometimes, like, no. No. Can see, we just... I, I almost, like, I need it. Like, it helps, it helps things feel so much better for me. Um, okay. Physically, I'm trying if, to fix my face. I'm like, what? <laughs> trying to fix my face. What? No. So like, like I've, I've learned that like if I'm not eating my matcha smoothie the week before, I have I have horrid cramps, horrid cramps. Okay, matcha. Also, well, because the banana. Okay. Okay. Uh, the the smoothie, bananas, bananas, potassium, friends Duh. for muscles. <laughs> Duh. Is what I'm thinking. But also, um, I guess we're all getting real close. Like. Also, something that prevents cramps for me and like a longer period is having sex. I don't know if it's science or if it's just me projecting that that that's what I think, but I have a I tend to have a shorter period and less cramps if I have more sex or like sex to the amount that I like am trying to have. No, that makes it makes sense in terms of like giving you something else to focus on, but also like a different type of penetration or um, but also like getting it out, maybe I don't know. I I don't know. Like I don't know if it's just the amount. Like also, if I'm not able to have sex with my partner, like a lot more masturbation. Just the muscles. Like it's like hmm. muscles are loose because like when you orgasm, like there's like that yep. like shit's mm-hmm. happening, and that makes my cramps not happen as much. That they're. I do believe there's science to that. I don't know all of Scientists the science because we're watching. M- my brain goes to an episode. <laughs> we're passing the baton to you. Yes, my my brain goes to an episode. Yes, we watch it. We love it. It goes to Grey's Anatomy when Homegirl was doing the orgasm. Oh yeah, that study study for like pregnant women, oh, like yeah. getting them to have an orgasm while you're in oh, labor that's... helps. Like pain pain is so close up against pleasure. Yeah, I said that right. And so doing like when you're in pain, giving your body pleasure helps with the pain. And so that duh. Yep, anyway, yep, yep. well damn. I'm might need to have more sex on my period. Anyway, cuz as I've gotten older, these cramps are fucking out of control. Yeah, it gets it's, I, I, I it hate it. To get better. I no, mean, I don't know why I thought that, but like No, it has gotten so much worse. <laughs> I was hoping. Anyway, um that is, I mean, some, that's some period stuff. Yeah, for I was you. like, that's I don't know, we, like stress. I, I'm still looking for ways to like handle my like uh, rage and like uh, emotions. So like, I have some things at work, but like, uh, bleeders who watch, if <laughs> bleeders who are watching, I guess not if who are watching. Yes. <laughs> um, what are ways that like you can handle stress? Do you need time to yourself with other people? Like, do you quarantine? <laughs> I mean, I, I have a friend who like, yeah, she fucking, she's out. She's like, nope, we're done. It's like we've got the flu for a couple of days. Like, uh, anyway. Um, so, so drop us comments, tips, complaints, I don't know, thoughts, feelings, scientists. I'd like to hear from the scientists. <laughs> um, please, we really specifically want to hear from you. Um, partners of Bleeders. Yo, be yes. kind to your bleeder. Yo, that that is a different button. Maybe I don't know. You let us know. Yeah, partners y'all. of bleeders, like questions that we can answer. How or, do like, you discuss. support your bleeding partner? What do you do? <laughs> like, what is it? Uh, How do you so, support your bleeder? I'm gonna I, guess, go to, I'm I gonna think we're die. gonna go ahead and push replay now and <laughs> revisit some comments. So push to replay. We revisit comments from the past on videos um, to kind of continue the discussion or mm-hmm. highlight things we love don't love um have more questions about yeah like that we want to talk about so if you're leaving comments and we're responding respond back <laughs> thank, you. thank you okay okay so who we got what we will be looking this at this week's comment is on our lock and key video yo that particular video got so many interesting comments and so bear with us because i feel like this might turn into a whole other button because one of my favorites came from Easels and his comment was, I think we need to define what value means because I don't think men see women with more sexual experience as more valuable. From a woman's perspective, what makes a woman truly valuable? They act like it's their bodies, hence all the makeup and surgeries. With men, it's the 
ability to protect and provide. And I'm not gonna lie, my brain was like, who? And, and I agree more, and I know what we said, what we said in the lock and key video, um, in terms of, like, no, more sexual experience doesn't necessarily, or more partners doesn't necessarily mean like, you are more valuable. I think there was a miscommunication or misunderstanding. Um, there is a another comment in there. More partner sometimes does mean more experience with I mean, it, it, it definitely means yeah. more experience in... But not more value. So I, I see where he's coming from and then... Um, it, yeah, the experience doesn't equal good. It just right. means more. More right. does not always equal better. But for some, like the, the question is, and his comment was, he's like, I don't think men think that women that have more experience are more valuable. I don't know if, I mean, I agree but disagree. So so my problem with it was like adding the value to people, yes, which yes. I don't like to do. And I understand many people do. And, and that's kind of the basis of value is, is something that could be misinterpreted here, which yes. I for sure did when I first read it. But I, I mean... I have always personally, I guess, valued a partner who knows what they're doing. Yes, I was like, yo, so, I have to like, say it. I have to fucking say I, it. I, I don't care about how many people. I, yep. I'm happy if your body count is higher than mine. I'm happy if your body count is n I'm not. I guess not happy. I'm fine. <laughs> it's it's fine. I don't. Ex but like, I want you to be able to, regardless of how many people you've been with do things that I like, you can take direction right. or I, also you. like- That's exactly where I was going. You can show me things. Like yes. I think that's what I seek in a partner is like that you know the groundwork that we're working on. I, I will be <laughs> honest. I value someone that knows how to make me feel good. I mean, I know how to make myself feel good. So it's not about, it. there is a certain level of it being them being able to make me feel good, but but it is it is on me to be able to communicate that and show someone that. Like I need to know what makes me feel good in order for someone else to make me feel good. Yeah. And so I need to have explored my own body so that someone else can explore or I can communicate exploring that. And so I do find value in that. Um, I'm not saying it is the only thing that I value. Right. And as a woman, in terms of the value that I see in myself, a lot of that has to do with communication and someone else being able to receive that communication. And so I, there are so many things about myself that I value. And it isn't tied to um, like how you look. I guess that, little, that's kind of like what I'm receiving from, from same, this also is that like. I can't sit here and lie to y'all and say that I'm not a little vain and value my appearance. I mean. I, I value my is, body. Is and surface, my, but it is, it is a big thing. I mean, it's a, it's a very big piece of the pie of attraction. Like mm -hmm. I would be remiss. I don't know. I feel like I just like saying the word remiss. I would be remiss to say, I don't know. Um, but like, I would be fucking lying if I right? said that like, yeah, also how I look does not play a, a, a part in like my desire to be with someone. That makes because like yep. I'm like oh I want to be hot with someone I right? don't like so which is why I shout well, I mean I like definitely am not one of those girls that like obviously puts on a ton of I don't con you know there are, there are things that I don't do because I just don't want to do them not because I right. don't think that it's okay or not okay like it's to each its own in what that individual values like I do I value my body I value my looks I value my brain my ability to carry on your, a conversation your whole person. yes I value myself as a whole and so and that is a piece of this whole like and <laughs> I'm a child anyway um, wait a piece of this oh whole. I was like <laughs> what I missed the joke oh my God. it's fine um, Yikes. Anywho, and I can't, 
I, like, again, yes, we are on the same page. I, I'm not going to sit here and lie to y'all and say that I don't value this because I do. I work hard for it and I take care of me because I value, everybody. yes, I value me. And, and, I, and I'm not upset if someone else values what I have to offer in that regard as well. Like someone values my looks or my body. Um, I, I need them to also value my brain. Right. And I think the, I'm more offended if someone only values me for one thing. Right. So I think I I feel like people who are expecting a surface, your only your only value to me is your body. I think mm. that is like what's like part of this greater lock and key conversation that's frustrating to me. It's yes, like all I see. coming to the puzzle pieces are coming together. <laughs> Um, but like that is when someone is only looking at a, um, a woman for their body. That's it, mm -hmm. both sexually and um, familially, like reproductive. Re <clears throat> so I know. Mm, to have kids. Yep. To, to pop <laughs> so out as babies. a birther and someone to like be next to naked. Because then they're just an object. They are a thing. Yeah. They are a possession. And that you're just here to make me feel good and give me kids. And in the same aspect, like for, from, I would assume a man's perspective, being looked at solely as a cash cow, as mm. like, you are here to fulfill my needs, however financially that means. And I, I think that's probably, or that is maybe the most like top level, like assumption, character, generalization of like men want wom woman for yes. sex and babies. Woman wants man for money. Provide and protect, yeah. But, and, and like, I think at the very top, yes, but then it goes, but like we also There's have to remember, there. like there is nuance and, and it isn't, it is that simple, but it's not that simple because yeah, I mean, obviously it's nice to be with someone who can pay for shit, but like I am always happy to, I'm, let's go Dutch, I can pay, we can take turns, like that kind of thing. I think mm -hmm. most, most women are working. Yep. Like I, I know very few women our age and who and younger who are like not working, whether it's part time because they're going to school, they're freelance gig work, um, stay at home moms, they own their business, that kind of thing. Like I, I know on one hand, I guess as I'm thinking about people in my life, I that are literally stay at home moms or like retired women. Mm. In my circle, which is however fucking small or whatever. But also but that is like so so we're all working. So I don't think I don't think that a lot of women, not all women, but like maybe half, I don't know, like are super fine with paying for shit and like, no, it's not you have to provide for me. But I know that there are still women who expect yes. that like a dude is going to do that. So like I and I don't I don't know the math of who's who. But I think like women we are okay with that so a lot more men I think should be a little bit more aware of that like it's nice to fall back on you dudes if like you can pay for shit but it's not necessarily it's no longer the first thing we need right because so many of us are our breadwinners we need support in so many other ways mm -hmm. and I think many men are also having the like maybe I don't want kids kind of thing. So like maybe they're looking for partners that are not necessarily going to be like the birther, but like. There's been a large shift in like the, the, the normal dynamic, like, or the, oh my gosh, I know. Okay, slow down. There's like been a, there's been a shift in what is like expected or what is like the normal roles. relationship and roles in terms of, uh, and, terms of partnership. Things have shifted drastically and it's interesting to watch them emerge and to like learn from and, and to shift because you know my my sister's in a marriage where she's she's the breadwinner and like and she's I also mean, yeah the mom. Yeah she's the mom. Like her her significant other is mainly the stay-at-home dad. Like and that works for them. So finding what works for your needs are or what it is that you're trying to do has become a little it it's a little sticky it's it's interesting because you definitely have that like expectations of what things are supposed to be like that are ingrained from society in your brain like am am I for me 
for the longest time, I thought what I wanted was, yeah, I want that, you know, my man protects, provides, I also do my thing. Like for the longest time, I thought I needed a man financially. Yeah. Like, and that has been, and as I've like stepped away from that, I'm like, oh, okay, this is, this is interesting. I, and step, stepping away from that. But anywho, because we're going, we're going this way. I have definitely do. not thought, only as I'm getting older, am I like, oh yeah, I want someone, I no longer want to pay for my shit. I would like to, <laughs> sugar daddy. I want a sugar daddy and I don't want to do shit. <laughs> Yo, it is. It's a wild journey. We will we will push that button at a later date because I'm tired of working. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I am not here for Kim. I oh ma'am. Okay, there we got a couple more. We do okay. Yes, we do. Yo, because <laughs> Easel's went in and I we appreciate you so much. You and Matthew Perkins and like some of our diehards. Anyway, um boom, 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 boom. where so where I did it go? The next picture. Okay, so in fairness, more sexual partners and more sexual experience are slightly different issues because you can gain sexual experience with just one partner. Facts, we just touched on that. Um, and But before that, no man wants to find out that their fiance slept with their, I don't know what OP is. Their what partner? Their their OP in the past before they met. A person with their a promiscuous partner? Oh. Is how uh, I interpreted it. Okay. A person with a promiscuous past will always be seen as a security risk. Imagine how many illegal favors one can get if the Oh no. I didn't. It's okay. Um <laughs> we're looking at a screenshot. We're looking at a screenshot. Comment. I needed to read more. But okay. I understand the security risk, like health-wise, to a certain degree. And but... that's my partners for having for having those dialogues. That's yes. I mean, because it's I think anytime you're coming together with someone else who has had a naked body touched inside or been inside of a body before, it's like if you have something, like let's fucking let's talk about it. Let's get let's, it taken yeah, care of. If like it's something yo, that you have to worry about. Um, and then I don't know. I guess if it's not, then you don't like. I don't. It's, to me, I don't care what your body count is. I really don't. And there was. I'm curious, like yes, just out of yes. curiosity's sake, as I think most people there, are. But like high or low, I mean. There was one more. It was so funny. Easels was like, "Wouldn't you want to know if your partner has slept with your like arch nemesis or like worst enemy or something like that?" And I'm like. I don't care because it's in the past. At that point, am I nosy and am I interested? I'd I be mean, like, yo, yeah, you... the chismos in me is like, I'm like, a bitch better not, right? Like, but like, you fuck someone I hate or someone that, like, <laughs> or what is that stupid term? Um, sorry, I'm having a flashback to memory. I, was like, what are I can't, I can't. Um, if y'all want, like, we're figuring out our Patreon and stuff. I do have a funny story to share where I was like, question mark, did Alyssa and I sleep with the same person? I was like, the fuck is happening here? Um, oh, but yeah, sign that, up for Patreon and yo, watch for that. Yeah, we will, we will figure that out. We will get that story to you. <laughs> that is why I paused like that because I, he's got, that has some merit. What I, it would be a little awkward at first, but I would get over it and be okay. Cause it's in the past, you fucking me now. Like, so we're good. Like, hopefully. Um, so hopefully. <laughs> that's my two cents on that. Yeah, <sighs> I feel like Eskimo, that shit is all, that's a no for me. Like, in terms of like it being a thing that's like, <sighs> you know, houseboys friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like it, that type of dynamic, yes, I don't fuck with that. But like in a you can't help it and oh you yeah. find out later. Yeah, I mean I and the thing is for me, it's it becomes funny. Like it's a joke. Yes. And yes. I it's don't like, know if it's like it's I'm small over world myself to enough. Me. It's like, like my ego is small enough that I'm like, okay, it has nothing to do with you personally. Like, right. it's about having sex. Like, that's yep. it. Or it's, it, it can be, but, like, I've also not been in this situation, so, like, I don't fucking know. Like, or not that I'm aware of. Like, 
Thank God LA is so such a big city. It's really not though. <laughs> it's really not because otherwise we wouldn't have this story that we could share later. Okay, but it's, we could have more stories. I very mean, true. Very true. All right, anyway. y'all. So you should <laughs> drop your comments below. We need to know, like, have you, do you have some, you know, kissing cousin Eskimo, I didn't mean kissing cousins. I meant Eskimo brother and sister situations. Um, that's for a different time, topic, comment, any way. Um, like, follow comment, subscribe, download, download. The, all of the things. Um, and uh, we'll catch you next week. Bye. Bye.